Hey guys, welcome to my channel Grab Your Notes. Today we will be discussing the difference between res judicata and res sub judice. So let's get started. So guys, in our last video, we already learned what is res sub judice and what is res judicata. Here, in this video, we will be learning the basic differences between these both. Difference number one, in case of res sub judice, there must be two suits, one of which should be previously instituted. In case of res judicata, the motive is that there must be an end to litigation. Thus, there is a bar on the trial that has already been adjudicated. In simpler terms, a matter that has previously been decided is not put to trial again. Difference number 2. The doctrine of res sub judice is contained in section 10 of CPC, which provides when and how it can apply. The doctrine of res judicata is contained in section 11 of CPC, including 8 explanations that provide when and how it can be applied. Difference number 3. Res sub judice prohibits proceeding of two parallel suits between the same parties. That means that if two competent courts try the same suit on the same issue, the subsequent court can put stay on the trial to prevent the multiplicity of proceedings and time of the court. In case of res judicata, it prohibits the second trial of the same dispute between the same parties. Difference number 4. The previously instituted suit must be pending in the same court or any competent court having jurisdiction. In case of res judicata, the previously instituted suit must be decided by the competent court in which the issue has been raised subsequently. Difference number 5. In case of res sub judice, it applies to only suit including appeal. But in case of res judicata, it applies to suit and applications. Apart from these differences, there are basically two similarities between res sub judice and res judicata. Similarity number one, the matter in issue in both the suits must be substantially the same. It means the issue in the subsequent suit must have been directly and substantially in question in the former suit, either actually or constructively. And the second similarity is that both the suits must be between the same parties or representative of these parties litigating under the same title. Hope it gave you a little help. Let's continue in the next video. Happy learning guys!